This is a short video on lumbosacral radiculopathy. This is a pain syndrome that's caused by compression of nerves in your lower back. There's the lumbar plexus and the sacral plexus that both come out of your lower spine. And uh, if you have compression of these nerves, it can cause different kinds of reflex deficits and sensory loss and weakness of your lower limbs. This video will help you differentiate between um, these disorders and which nerves are being compressed. Now, as to what's actually compressing the nerves, that could be a number of things. That could be the um, vertebra degeneration, it could be a herniated um, disc, it could be like a back muscular problem. There's a number of things that can compress the nerves. This will just help you localize uh, which nerve is being compressed. So in order to do that, it's helpful to look at the dermatomes. So here's a picture of the dermatomes that um, will kind of match with these descriptions. So let's start with L2 to L4. If you have a radiculopathy of L2 to L4, you can expect a patellar reflex deficit. So that's the uh, doctor smacking the knee and the leg kicks forward. That's damaged in L2 to L4. You can have sensory loss over the medial shin and anteromedial thigh. Let's kind of correlate that to what we see here. So if you have a deficit in L2 to L4, you would expect these colors in the diagram to have a sensory loss. And that, that kind of matches up. Sensory loss over the medial shin, the uh, anteromedial thigh. You'll have weakness of hip flexion, hip adduction, and knee extension. So imagine a person standing uh, straight and kicking forward with one leg. If that's weak, that could be an L2 to L4 radiculopathy. So that's knee flexion, hip abduction, and knee extension. Next is L5 radiculopathy. There's no reflex deficit associated with this one. There's a sensory loss over the lateral shin and the dorsum of the foot. So again, let's match this to the color uh, we see here. That's L5. The, uh, the lateral shin is shown here. So that's that same color there. That's a sensory deficit over that area for L5 radiculopathy. You'll have weakness of foot dorsiflexion, foot inversion, foot eversion, and toe extension. So the motor deficit here for L5 radiculopathy is all down at the foot. S1 is the next radiculopathy. You'll have an Achilles reflex deficit, so that's smack in the back of the heel. The sensory loss for S1 is over the posterior calf um, and the sole and the lateral foot. So again, let's look at S1, this color here. You can see that that color matches up with the lateral foot here um, and as well as the posterior calf. So I imagine there's some overlap between these dermatomes on the, on the posterior calf. You'll also have weakness of hip extension, knee flexion, and foot plantar flexion. So this is kind of the opposite of the L2 to L4 weakness. Um, this is now weakness of hip extension, so um, bringing your leg down, and knee flexion. So last one is S2 to S4. Um, this is the dermatomes that are around your bottom in these kind of concentric circles around your bottom here. The deficit here makes sense. You'll have an anocutaneous reflex deficit. You'll have sensory loss over the perineum, which is again consistent with these dermatomes, and you'll have uh, incontinence of both stool and urine. So the motor effect is down there as well. You'll also have sexual dysfunction. So again, consistent with um, these dermatomes here. So I hope this video was helpful in identifying and localizing the radiculopathies. Thank you for listening.